perfectly honest, it's a combination of all of those things. Um, you know, we were building on Polygon before. That was kind of great because ETH is being, you know, one of the oldest networks and having a lot of documentation for developers to come and build kind of applications on it. It was a no-brainer. And I think for many people who enter Web3 today, it still is. You sort of, you write your first Solidity smart contracts and that's how people dip their toe in the water via ETH. So Polygon was obviously doing doing well, but it's an ETH chain. Um, but it had some limitations, one of which being that you can't do sort of end-to-end -end decentralization, um, which is one of the things that we are striving for with, with Trax. Um, the thing that I was really exciting about was Bitcoin payments and the integration, obviously, with, with the Bitcoin mainnet, but being able to process Bitcoin payments at sort of the speed of the ICP network. Um, and in my opinion, that enables sort of Bitcoin microtransactions for the first time in a properly decentralized way. And we're hoping to be one of the first companies that's sort of leveraging that early technology to allow music artists to earn Bitcoin as opposed to um, dollars.